hi everyone welcome back to my channel bashini here hey my name is jessica thanks for clicking if you are subscribed to me um thank you for supporting me and just watching my videos but yeah lately i haven't been motivated to do videos i haven't posted in like a month i haven't done fashion reels or tiktoks in a very long time and partially is because of work but honestly i think it's just i'm still getting used to working a eight to four job and you know having that ability to kind of balance everything out is kind of difficult for me because on the weekends i just want to relax i don't want to do work but what i'm going to try to do is do a little bit more content i'm going to try to post weekly but i can't promise anything maybe i'll just make videos on the weekends where i'm rested and then post on a friday but yeah i'm really trying to figure that out because i do really miss creating content and editing and all that so yeah today i have a powerpoint of fall trends of 2022 and this is the main reason why i felt motivated to do another youtube video because i love doing these type of videos i love doing the powerpoints researching and all that and you know of course sharing with you what i found so yeah let's get into it if you are interested in more videos like this in the future fashion styling and also thrifting videos please subscribe and i'll really appreciate it love you guys and let's get into the video so one trend that i'm sure everyone has been seeing since um like spring of this year is the return of maxi skirts and maxi dresses and i love that i really truly love that i love maxi skirts and dresses because you're comfortable you don't have to worry about revealing anything and it they look just super cute with every type of shoe like i love wearing them with sneakers i love wearing them with boots sandals for the spring and summer but i just love 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 that maxi skirts and dresses are really taking off now and the ones in particular that i'm looking for in thrift stores and poshmark and ebay even are those convertible cargo skirts um mostly like khaki material um green olive color like a beige color that has a zipper in kind of like the middle and you can like convert it to a skirt like a short skirt i just think it's so cute it looks very like early 2000s 90s and i think like with some cool sneakers or like chunky boots it will look so 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 cute with like a chunky sweater oh i just i can think about like all these different types of outfits with these skirts and i think it's just so cool and like industrial looking for some reason i guess because you can convert it and the zipper i think it looks really cool i don't know what do you guys think and then also another trend that i personally didn't think i would wear is denim maxi skirts because it really all depends guys on the style of maxi skirt you find for me the best is like it's like fitted within the thigh and it's like straight it's not like flaring out if that means if that makes sense <laughs> so i i really think it all depends on your body type and what kind of style of skirt you're looking for but for me that type of skirt that's a little bit more form-fitting not super bodycon but like hugging in the hips it actually makes a difference and it's very flattering so yeah maxi skirts if it's like a dark wash maxi skirt with some long boots and a chunky sweater and i just think it'll be such a cute outfit for fall and winter for sure all right so the next trend i have here is nothing new i feel like i'm repeating myself over and over again until it's gonna be everywhere and just saturated everywhere but i really think that's gonna happen with this trend and it's cargo pants and we're giving Kim Possible vibes. Very baggy with a, like a tight top or even baggy top will look cool with some sneakers or some chunky boots or even sandals for now. I just think cargo pants look so good. Um, I saw a lot of it last season with Dickies pants, but now I'm seeing it in a more like baggier silhouette um, worn with so much different things. I'm telling you like, cargo pants goes with so much different aesthetics i just really like this trend and i'm really happy that 
it's you know gonna become more mainstream i'm seeing it more in the permanent stores and stores in the mall so i really know for sure it's going to be like the it pant for the season kind of similar to a trouser pant last year i think cargo pant this year is gonna be really really on trend and everyone's gonna have for sure okay so the next trend i have here is something that takes a time to kind of get used to but i'm starting to like to be honest and it's boleros and when i thought boleros at first i thought of like those little mini jackets but what i am kind of referring to in this sense is like those cropped like cardigans or it's not it's not even a cardigan it's kind of like a sleeve almost and, and then also we see it like cropped to here i think it's an awesome way to layer in the most minimal way you know what i mean like you can wear like a tank top and then you can put the little sleeve bolero on top and then you can do something else and it will give like a cool new vibe to an outfit you know what i mean i think it's cool and i love that it's a layer but it's like a light layer um it's good for like if you want to wear a dress and it doesn't have sleeves and you're cold then you can just add that to it i've been seeing a lot on ebay and poshmark and their store is not as much maybe it just depends on like what their store you go to but i'm definitely in need of getting a bolero for sure because i think it's such a cool and easy way to make uh, a top different you know what i mean and it's a good way an easy way to stay warm for sure so the next trend that i'm really excited for and i am in the hunt for for sure is a moto racer jacket i just think they're so cool we are definitely going into a, like a tighter fitted silhouette for leather jackets before we would do like a looser boxier fit but what i've been seeing now is shorter for sure and a little bit more fitted yeah because it just makes more sense our pants are getting baggier so of course our tops are gonna be a little bit more tighter you know what i mean so if you haven't seen a moto racer jacket it's basically um a moto jacket that zips up all the way to the top and then it has like little racer lines um similar to track suits like the, the sweater by the way that's what i've been saying also a lot i think because adidas has become really popular with all their collaborations i've been seeing a lot of women wearing the track suits for adidas so that's another thing to mention into this trend because they're very similar in silhouette and style because of the lines um but yeah i think that's super cool too the next trend is the return of the bomber jacket are you guys ready are you guys ready to pull out your bomber jackets from was like five six years ago that we all wore bomber jackets this time around though we are going for um more of a looser fit so if you do have a looser fitted bomber jacket definitely pull it out of your closet and wear it again because it's gonna be trending i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to look on ebay or poshmark for a kind of like oversized men's bomber jacket um, also, what I think it's kind of cool is the kind of uh, worn out leather type of look. That's what I've been seeing a lot in this type of jackets in leather, like especially like a brown worn out leather. I think it's so cool and unique and it's definitely like the it type of thing to do if you're looking for a really um, vintage type of bomber jacket go for like a brown rustic kind of look um but yeah i i really like it and i'm really excited because i see so many different types i see it short and i see it long i see it quilted even and, and also a lot of different colors and a lot of different types of materials like i said leather is really popular right now and then also like quilted and nylon materials so yeah definitely go get you a bomber jacket it's such a good transitional piece for sure for summer going to fall another versatile piece that i've been seeing a lot is the return of the vest and we are seeing vests in so much different forms before it was just sweater vest but now we're seeing it with the buttons a uh, dressier kind of fit um and also like in different colors and materials so um but what i've been seeing a lot is a denim silhouette also leather and also like a suit silhouette and i think 
just adding that extra layer piece really makes your outfit a little bit different and it's something about a vest that makes you look cool and you look put together for sure so um i'm really going to try to look for more vests i have like a few but i am looking for more of a suit vest right now i have a sweater vest and a button down vest and a crochet vest <laughs> but i don't have a denim one and i don't have a like a suit vest so i'm really excited to start thrifting a little bit more and try to find it because i know it's something that is gonna really put your outfit together when you do add it to your wardrobe so the next trend that i have here is the return of thin scars yes thin scars um uh, people are gonna either love it or hate it personally i like the trend if it's functional if it's too thin i feel like it's like pointless but i do like the thin scarf look because it's not super oversized it doesn't empower your whole outfit it's such a cute and dainty thing to put around your neck and also if it's functional if it's not too thin or material is like not warm enough then i feel like it's it's something cute to add um, so I've been seeing this a lot in my Pinterest for sure in the striped material and like mohair and like fluffy material something different and um, I think it's really similar to kind of like the suit tie trend that I've been seeing since last season but I just think a skinny tie is more functional for me and just makes sense for me because I wouldn't wear a tie <laughs> i think it's just it's a little too much it costed me but if you are into like the uniform type of look for sure try it out or even alternative you can wear them with a band t-shirt i think will look cool i just for me i don't think it's something that i would wear so i wouldn't get it so i think the skinny tie or the thin tie it's a little bit more like everyday friendly you know what i mean and I actually thrifted a few. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I found in the thrift store because I did find a lot of fall items and I'm definitely gonna be my next video, a thrift haul. Okay, so let's get into accessories. Let's talk about shoes to wear for fall. So one trend that I'm like in the fence about is the over the knee boot comeback. Uh, I don't know about you, but I really like the trend at first, but with wear it kind of like goes down i mean granted it might be like the type of shoe i bought maybe you know it varies but from my experience if i had the, the suede shoe it would kind of like go down with time and it was really irritating for me at least so with that i'm in the fence of getting over the knee boots but to the knee boots maybe if it's like fitted I do see a lot of cute options in ASOS and also I found a one in the thrift store for a really good price so definitely keep your eye open because it's definitely a 90s and early 2000s trend that you can easily find secondhand so yeah. Okay so the next shoe trend that I've been seeing a lot and I know either people love or hate it and it's the return of the ballet flats. I'm sorry but it's just it's it's there it's, it's trending so I need to mention it. I personally like it, um, although I do like my shoes to be a little bit chunkier and above the ground. I just, I don't like the feeling of the shoe being so close to the ground for some reason. Also, it's really uncomfortable for me personally. So I would go for a ballet flat that's a little bit more chunkier or just go for a loafer because it's very similar in style. But yeah, definitely ballet core is still a thing. Also, what I've been seeing a lot is a lot of like ties and ribbons in accessories and that kind of ties in with the ballet course. So if you're into that look, go for it. If not, go for the trusty loafer or go for a chunkier type of ballet flap, maybe Mary Jane and Doc Martens or go for creepers. Before I forget, an honorable mention has to be towards Birkenstock clogs. Um, in particular the Boston's they're literally all over my for you page on TikTok even though I personally don't like it I know every girl are looking for it I know they go for $150 and up and they're difficult to find because they sell out so quickly so uh, what I would do is I would look for dupes to try it out if you're really not super invested in the shoe um, they have it in Kohl's, they have it in Target, they have it in Zappos, I believe. We'll link it down below if anyone's interested in this style of clogs, shoe, 
Birkin lookalike. So yeah, we'll link it down below. I got you guys. Okay, real quick before my phone dies again, I want to mention the last trend and it's metallics and chain accessories. I think it's going to be huge, especially for the holiday season, but I do see a little bit of it in accessories. I do see it in bags in belts i see a lot of chain belts that's pretty cool i think i don't know i might try it out and i do see it a lot in new bound shoes nikes asics in the silver color it's really trending right now up tall far it's really trending in the silver kind of color and it just makes sense to me that silvers and chains and all that are trending again because it was such a y2k thing because Y2K was known for new discoveries and technology and of course that reflects with the time period and of course you know fashion that's what it always does so yeah I'm really into it so that's all the trends that I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some insights of what you wear and what you shop for for the upcoming season hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one bye